going on gemini welcome back to the channel i appreciate you tuning in check check one two yeah we good mike is live making sure we welcome mike in. <sighs> hope you guys are having well good full moon we just had a full moon in scorpio on the 23rd tuesday so you made him notice yourself running up you know coming up building up to that full moon of a very intense time very deeply, you know, um, a lot of deep emotions, a lot of intense emotions, a lot of intense feelings, any intense thoughts, just intense, like you, your state of being, right? A lot of the fixed signs are going to be illuminated as well. So if you have Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius in your chart, it's going to be significant, including Taurus. I don't know why, but I. Um, that, that didn't come to mind. <laughs> Those are the four signs that'll be extremely uh, feeling it. But regardless, all of us are going to be feeling it. Scorpios, deep waters, full moon, ugh, a lot of full moon scenarios, a lot of, um, you may notice, deaths, passings, things of that nature. But let's get right into it. Personal transformation. I'm just going to move that. Actually, before I move that, let me just. Gosh, that was hot, man. <laughs> It is way too hot, way too fresh, way too fresh. Gemini, mean, I hope you've been doing well. Oh, as I split the deck, look what I split the deck on. Split the deck on death, aka Scorpio energy. So you're definitely feeling this full moon. Scorpio energy deals with eighth house energy as well. Eighth house being inheritance. Um, royalty type finances earnings from you know other people things of that nature uh and in, in that in that way so we could be noticing a lot of that right now as well full moon is a time of harvest so we may notice you know money from money from other areas that are kind of lucrative but not so earnings but are still coming in for us so that's a big energy is uh big energy as well a lot of personal transformation undergoing at this time and before we get into it, thank you everyone here for supporting the channel, helping the channel grow. I appreciate you guys. We got the new, you know, upgrading the studio here. T Tarot's getting better. We got some new mic stuff we're going to be introducing this week for y'all. So thank you, y'all. Thank you, everyone, booking personal readings. Number one. And, and you know, like, thank you everyone to watching these videos. We're not about the personal readings or bookings. Really? I really thank you guys and appreciate you guys for watching in, in general. You know, YouTube and Rumble fam. Shout out Rumble fam too. Rumble been going crazy. You have the Knight of Discs as an underlying story. Trying to take action and move forward in some way, shape, or form to develop some sort of stability for yourself. I'm going to get straight into the horseshoe spread. Hangman. Perspective shift. Yeah, you might need to shift your perspective on something in, 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 in some way, shape, or form. Or your perspective already is already shifted, or something is at a standstill. One of those three things. Very significant right now for you, Gemini. Ooh, love energy. I think that's funny, because I think Scorpio started out with that, too. Six of Wands. Oh. Oh. This is actually crazy. So we got... We got we, Gemini with another. All right. Y'all see me shuffle, right? Gemini's coming with a bang, a bang, a banger today. Yo, Gemini, this week, this week is about to be crazy. I just got goosebumps. This week's about to be crazy for you. Your energy. You're going to notice some, some, some wild shifts this week. Maybe this week is what's shifting your perspective. There's something wild going on within your within your life in this situation that may actually shift your perspective and that allows you to see things uh, from a new perspective. Maybe this is starting to get things flowing again where it's not so stagnant or you don't feel as stagnant because things are starting to progress. But moving forward with the Two of Cups, lover, lover's energy, either making a choice or moving forward with love connection or some sort of uh, some sense of internal fulfillment, filling your own cup based upon what you want to nurture and how you want to nurture yourself and how you want others to nurture you as well. And I think you've discovered that idea and that feeling within yourself of how you want to move forward and who you want. You know, how others show love to you, right? 
because I feel like you're a very big giver. You're a very big nurturer. You give to others who give to you, um, which is good. That's how, you know, mutual, mutual energy. I have, I have a common ground with that. Six of wands in your present energy, victory, setting the stage for yourself, taking the action. You're not being fearful right now. I'm seeing a lot of powerful energy. And it's reminding me of the Scorpio reading because y'all got the night. Y'all like, like y'all Scorpio started off with the two of cups. And then the nine of cups too. Like the nine, I don't, I'm not sure if it was in position three or position two, but they had the nine of cups as well. And then they had the nine of pentacles, I believe. You have, you have the ten of pentacles. Then you got emperor, devil, earth. A lot of fire and earth is a lot manifesting for you right now. Whatever it is, if this is a, this could be travel as well because um, victory, six of wands, the Jupiterian card. So this is like travel based upon individual expression. And authenticity towards how you express yourself as an individual and how you gain experience and meaning and reasoning from that right that's what's curating the victory because you know how to find your meaning and reasoning within your experiences nine of cups is the hidden influence you're focused on this abundance you're focused on this happiness you're focused on the wish fulfilled which is very nice Stay tapped into that Jupiter energy. Stay tapped. Stay stay in that vibration of abundance, and, and that's going to keep attracting more to you. Keep your heart open, and I think your heart is open. Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. Whatever you, whatever day to day situation you go through, that's okay. You can't. We can't control everything, but what you can control, we can, what we can control, is how we respond to it. And I think you're understanding that right now, and I think you're maintaining that vibration of. Wholesome, happiness, experience, meaning, and reasoning, and wisdom. Learning from how you feel. Learning from what you go through, right? The Ten of Discs is the obstacle to overcome. This could have been some sort of inheritance within the way your family has done things in the past. But it wasn't the way you wanted to do things. It actually didn't make sense for you to do it that way. So you may have stepped out of the boundary. I'm hearing some of you guys became the outsider in your family to create your own sense of wealth that makes that actually makes sense to you because I see the devil. And no, that doesn't mean, oh my gosh, it's the devil. No, like relax, you know, like if you're new here, if, if, if you're new to the tarot, it's not what it means. So, and it's actually in position six based upon what you got to pay attention to. I can be all, be all woo, woo pay attention to the devil. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really not like that, though. So, really, I see earth energy, and I see foundation, practicality. I see drive. The devil is drive. The devil is ambition. The devil is status. Right? The devil is finances. Career. And I think that's what you're focusing on. That's what your attention is on. And if you haven't been, that's the confirmation that you need to place your attention in that area. You're in some sort of position of authority, possibly within your career, maybe a higher position than most. Others' perspective, see, I think other people see you as a leader as well. This could be coworkers, friends, family, people that you're naturally emotionally connected, uh, connected to. I think they do see you as a leader. So don't doubt yourself, don't doubt your skill set, and don't doubt your abilities. Because this foundation and this stability can actually be achieved when, this gen when, when you can curate a routine and communicate that, right? And that routine is something that's long-lasting. That routine is something that, can, that is in alignment with your status, that is in alignment with your inheritance, with your generational wealth, with how you want to build and your, and your long-term family. Right? So you can make your own sense out of it based upon being in your own position. That's how you make sense out of it. And then it'll start to make sense. Logical. So pay attention to your status right now and where you want to be within your career or where you want to be. Yeah, like where you want to be within your career and your status. What position you want to be in. And then this routine will start making sense for you to how to cultivate that generational wealth or like that plan to create something within a, a, a family bond. You get what I'm saying? Well, it's like first we have to identify our position based upon our, our level of status 
position being emperor. We are we are in a position of authority. Emperor right here. Right? I'm hearing it's time to get organized. So you getting organized is how you take control. And I think you need to organize a routine. A routine around what you want to manifest, what makes you happy. So there's something that makes you happy and you've achieved a victory based upon some sort of new experience. There could be a love experience, but some new experience. And it's important for you to understand how to manifest this, but you got to curate a routine and you got to be that person to manifest it. And then the outcome card is the four of wands. This actually makes sense. This is completion. The actions that you've taken and the vision that you've held within yourself actually makes sense. Actually makes sense for you, especially towards your relationships. This is a Venus card. So the actions you've taken towards the relationships, you may have initiated certain actions towards the relationships, but it's very fulfilling for you and you feel very complete and you feel very wholesome. I'm going to get into the mystery card. And as we do, looking at the Rider Waite Smith, I actually see your energy right here. Gemini, the lover's card. A lot of major arcanas here. Full moon, energies are very clear. Share your time. Share your time and share your care with the people you love. And that's what I'm talking about. There's something on your heart and the people that are in your, there's people in your life that make you extremely happy and that you're extremely proud of. And that, they, you know, I think it's vice versa. They're extremely proud of you. Whether it's family, coworkers, even if you don't know it, they see you as someone, as, as, as a higher up, as someone in a position of authority, being able to call the shots, having good practical ways of thinking, right? With that emperor energy. But for yourself, you may need to get your routine down pat around what you want to manifest and around maintaining these relationships that actually fulfill you. Let's pull a mystery confirmation card from the Rider Waite Smith. This is going to tie the energies in together right now. Usually we pull these early, but like, man, sometimes it just passes me. <laughs> But we never forget it, though. We never forget the mystery card. Never forget the mystery confirmation cards. Never forget the mystery confirmation cards. Three of Wands. Reach a new destination in your life. Three of Wands is at the bottom of this deck here. You reach a new destination, and this could be you traveling. Maybe you. Maybe you've. Maybe some of you Gemini's just reached a. Um, just landed on your trip or landed on your journey, right? If you're planning this thing, I think this is the confirmation that it is planned and that you have planned it as well, and it's in motion. There's change towards your foundation, and it's and it's uncomfortable. But because of this change, this is the confirmation card, right? Hey, we have to tell you guys to guess. It's okay though, because yeah, it's been a, it's been it's been a day. <laughs> It's been a day, but it's been it's been a very good day, very good and very productive, very intense, you know, full moon stuff. So we just coming straight at it and clear, you know. Um, there's some change towards your foundation here, Gemini, and that's okay. Things change. We're in a whole new world. The end of the world happened at the eclipse. <laughs> we are literally in the afterlife right now, right? The world as we know it is is pretty much destroyed. Like from here on out, there's a things may not seem the way that they were, and they may not seem like they're going back anytime soon. So there is some change going on, and I think you're accepting it though, and you're understanding your emotions and what you're grateful for within your life, and you're focusing on long-term wealth, completion, inheritance. Maybe learning how to position yourself based upon your experiences and what you've learned from your victories and how you express yourself as an individual. Showing showing some a person, place, or thing that you have exactly what it takes to achieve what you want to. I'm here. But Gemini, if this brought you clarity, comment down below. I appreciate you for tuning in as always, Gemini. I'm watching from afar and you know I'm rooting for you. You know the most important part, the Triple Threes Tarot. If you're interested in anything personal, check out the description below. Time to Triple Three.
やりますか